Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And happy Friday. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Good morning. Well, hello, Ms. Rhonda Herring. Good Glory morning. to God. Good morning. And if we can't see you, we apologize. And uh, But good morning and happy Friday. And uh, this is Pastors Alvin and Latoya Wright of Empowering Word Christian Center. Good morning to you. Hey, Marsha Wright. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh-uh. Come here, Michael. Come here. Oh, come say hi. Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jump up. Jump up. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Now you're going to have to be quiet because we're about to pray for people. Okay? Be quiet. Oh, I was trying to move the camera so they could see him. Oh, okay. You're going to have to be quiet. Bella, you're going to have to be quiet. We're going to pray. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning, praise God. Good morning. Bella, don't think because I'm live <laughs> right now that I won't take care of you. So, go sit down. like that, that kid that acts out in public. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, they live now. They, they ain't going to be worried about us. Good morning, Elder Robert Carr and Candy Rhodes. God Good bless morning. You. Glory to God. Let's open up in prayer. We worship you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We adore you. We glorify you. We thank you for your presence. We bless you. You are in the place. Wherever the people are, as they're watching, wherever they are, whatever they're doing, Lord God, thank you that you are with them. And Lord God, your presence is there. We declare the joy of the Lord on this Friday, that it will be their strength. Lord Lord God, in the name of Jesus, they will be looking unto Jesus Jesus. because he's the author and finisher of their faith. Just like Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him, He endured the cross. Lord God, they're able to go through the process to get to the prize. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we bless you and praise you. you, We thank you for peace. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, everything restored restored. over their life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Leon Jones and Jennifer Ooh. Barden. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glory be to God. God bless you. God. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Hey, quiet. Quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Yes, good morning. Good morning. All right, good morning. Yes, praise God. God bless you. Good morning. All right. (laughs) Praise God. Good morning. Those of you that have just joined, praise God. God bless you. 
And all right, praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning, Alyssa Braddix. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, good morning. Praise God. All right, listen. Today we're going to pray over the loss. We're going to pray over the loss. That's what we're going to pray over. Praise God. Um, thank you. Um, praise God. Michael and Bella are not going to join us for prayer today. They're they're um, they're going to they're going to have to watch the replay. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. All right, we're going to pray over the loss. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. What did you give them? Their favorite thing. They gave them some treats and stuff and told them to get, get out of here, huh? Yeah. All right. Wonderful. All right. Praise God. We're going to pray over the loss. How many of you have family members, close people, friends that are not born again? You have people that you love and they're not born again. How many of you have people that are backslidden? They're not serving God. They're not in church. They're backslidden. They have not been serving God. Their hearts are not right with God. How many people have friends, friends that are not right with God? They are not serving God. They are not in the place that they're supposed to be. And they are not right with God. We're going to pray over the lost. We're going to believe God for the lost today. Amen. We're going to pray over the lost. And we want you to believe God for your family members and your friends and for your uh, co-workers or business partners or people that you're connected to to come into the kingdom. Because Jesus is coming back. Yes, he is. And we're living in the last days, folks. We're living in the last days and we have to be about our father's business and he's in the business of saving people. He's in the business of forgiving sins. He's in the business of providing grace and mercy. He's in the business of providing breakthrough. And what we need to do as believers is we need to walk in faith and believe God for these people to come to the knowledge of uh, the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, when we're praying over um, our loved ones and their salvation, you know, we can just pray that the love of God softens their heart. Yes. You know, that the goodness of God and the grace of God draws them and woos them yes. to repentance. We live um, in a time in a dispensation where people hearts are just hard towards things of God and hard towards God and just a lot of anger and bitterness that mm -hmm. is in people's heart. Yeah. And so just praying that their heart is softened and sensitive towards the love of the love of God and his grace and it just draws them to repentance. Amen. You know, I want to back up for a second. You have to have a heart to want to uh, see your loved ones and family members and friends. And you got to have that heart because there's a lot of people that are in the body of Christ that are in church and they have no desire, they have no heart to see their loved ones saved. Now that's a problem that's because so if that's the case, if I don't even have a desire to see people born again, yeah. I have to then question my own relationship with God that's because so God loves people. God loves, you know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him should have everlasting life. So in that, um, you have to say, well, if I'm in relationship with God, if I'm in right relationship with God and he loves the people to where he sent his only son to die for them, 
I should have the same, I should, I should have some type of love, just like God loves the world, that I want to make sure that they know yeah. about Jesus. I know about this love. That's good. So we have to make sure that our hearts are right to where when we see people, when we're at the grocery store, when we're, when we're at the family reunion, where we're at, you know, to wherever we're doing, that we see people and we say, man, I wonder if that person is going to heaven or yeah. if they're going to hell. Do we believe this gospel here? That's good. And, and you know, what, what happens is, is you have to take a step back and you have to say, have I received God's love? Because... When you receive God's love, now you're able to love God. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. That's good. There's no greater commandment than, than really sharing the love of God. That's true. That's true. You know, really at the, at the end when it's all said and done, it's about if a person is going to heaven or hell. That's it. So we, with our influence, can influence someone to heaven. Yes. We can influence their life to destruction and hell. Yes. And so sometimes our silence mm. and not being God's mouthpiece mm. is... Indirectly influencing someone to hell. Our sight, you just man, that thing is powerful. Let's stay on that right there. Our silence. You can like and share this video. Praise God and thank you very much for those that are doing that. Like and share it. We appreciate that so that this can go out. We want you to like and share it. Like and share it um, because this is the king. This is the kingdom. This is the gospel message, and this is about getting people born again. So this is your way of sharing the gospel. Um, our silence. Our silence. You know, when, when, when this country was having slavery mm. or Jim Crow or whatever, or, or any type of injustice, whether, whether it's it doesn't matter what it is. It, whatever injustice it is, it's the silence. It's the silence of those that are on the the side of good. On the side of good. That really is the issue. It's yes. that silence. Yes. Yes. It's that side. When, listen, if you see someone being done wrong unjustly, they are being wrong. You see, you see heinous crimes. It's the silence of the, the people that it's the no right, no righteousness. It's that silence that does it. That does it. Because here's the thing: if 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 you are aware and your eyes are open, and you can clearly see that the devil and the people that are cooperating with him are not silent with coercing people and wooing people and influencing them out of their assignment and out of their relationship with God, and it's. This is the season that the body of Christ has to get that righteous boldness mm, back. I like to call it the righteous, righteous indignation. indignation. And it is boldness. It's yes. boldness where, because it says that we come boldly to the throne of grace and mm -hmm. that we are seated in heavenly places with yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. And that we have been um, given dominion and power. So this is the season and the time because mm -hmm. the devil knows that his time is short. Yes. To start to speak up, to um, get people born again, to pray for your loved ones. When you see someone being, you know, in the grips of Satan, mm. to allow the Holy Spirit to use you as a mouthpiece for the Lord. Amen. When you love, when you receive God's love, you, you, listen, if you receive the best gift 
that anybody could ever receive. And that's the God's love and Amen. eternal life. When you cherish that thing and you say, man, I, 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 I believe in this thing. I'm so grateful and thankful for this thing. I, when you want to give that away, you want to give do. that away. You do. You want to give that away. And you love God. Oh, God, I love you so much that I want to share your love. I want to share. I want to share your love. I think about social media. People mm-hmm. be sharing stuff all the time. They be sharing gossip. They be sharing craziness. They That's be sharing so news stories. They be sharing stuff all the time. Share, 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 share. share. share you look share. at the time. Share. They share, 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 share. And you, it's tough to get people in the body of Christ to share the greatest thing ever in existence of all time, and that's the love of God. Yes. The passion Hit the share the, button on the love of God. The love of God. The passion and Hit the, the share God. button on the love of God. Yes. Passion Goodness and Goodness gracious. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, the passion and zeal. Uh, we need the passion and the zeal to just permeate through our lives in the body of Christ. Mm. You know? Yes. When you love God, now you love yourself. You love yourself. You love yourself that you want to make sure that you're about God's business. And then you love <laughs> God's people. You're able to love God's people. And so you're saying, man, I love you so much. I want to make sure that you know the truth. I want to make sure you know the truth. This is what this is what Jesus told to um, <clears throat> Saul, who later turned to Paul, and he said this. He was telling him. He said, "Listen, Paul." Uh, Saul said, "So I said, who are you, Lord?" This is Acts chapter twenty-six, verse fifteen, and. Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. I think that's very interesting because those saints didn't see, well, Saul didn't see Jesus that he was persecuting. He saw them saints. He saw saw Stephen. He saw the saints that he was persecuting. He didn't see, see people, man, that thing, well, that thing. People don't see who they're really persecuting, who they're really talking about. Mm. Ah, I will say that again. Mm. People don't really see who they're really talking about in the booth in the back of the corner of the door. Mm. They don't really see who they're really talking about. They really are talking about Jesus. Because yeah. yeah. when, when you represent the kingdom... You represent the king. Yes, you do. So if somebody is talking about you representing the king, they're really talking about the king. That's why you can't take it personal. You can't take it. Because the enemy's coming for the word. He, didn't he say in Mark chapter 4, he's coming for the word's sake. Mark chapter 4, he said, when persecution and tribulation come for the word's sake. Yep. They stumble. You can't ter- take this gospel thing. You can't take it personal. People are going to yeah, persecute, persecute you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to say all stuff about you. That's what the Bible says. And they're doing it. Don't take it personal. It's not about you. They're doing it against him. They're doing it against him because they rejected and hated Jesus. They so rejected they're going to reject. Come on. And if you are representative of the body of Christ, mm. you're representative of the kingdom, especially... If you have a platform where you're out, you're outspoken and you're Glory speaking the word of God. Yes, they are going to reject you. Remember, the world doesn't love him, and mm. people, you know, and even if they're in, even if they go to church, they may not have the love of God and the Holy Spirit. Church inside folks of them. don't have. It's possible that church, church folks, folks don't have the love of God. Church folks don't have the love of God because you can't. Say, he said, "Listen, mm. you can't say you love God." When you hate your brother or sister, you, 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 you might be up in the church shouting and all that stuff and even doing all saying the right thing, but then you out blasting and doing this and that. You, you don't love God. 
And so that's not the love no, of God. Not. That's not the love of God. And so you have to so we're just remember mm-hmm. and during the fast, fasting and praying in mm-hmm. the spirit yes. Yes, will yes, yes. Uh, strengthen your inner man to be resilient, to Lord be able to, to withstand any type of rejection. Wow. Jesus was betrayed, mm-hmm. lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated. He was I'm telling you, blasted publicly, humiliated. He was crucified. He was scourged. He he went through all that and he didn't do nothing to nobody. Yeah. But he received a lot of false accusations. Yeah. How much do you think that that's going to happen to you? Yes, yes, yes. When you stand up for righteousness, coming back to the body of Christ is the on fire Christian who don't care nothing about what nobody is saying. They love God so much that they are just saying, you know what? You can talk about me all you want. I'm staying with Jesus. Yeah. And this, this, this having this, uh, we call it spiritual fortitude, Mm. having that spiritual fortitude in this season will Mm. be very vital to your walk with the Lord. If not, you will shrink back. Mm. You will back down. Mm. It will rob you of your faith and your confidence and you will not be vocal and outspoken and you won't witness to to people. So having that spiritual fortitude, that holy fortitude yes, um, that only comes from the Holy Spirit. Yes. It only comes from fasting and praying in the Holy Spirit. Without yes. it, it will be difficult for you to fulfill your assignment because, mm. because the enemy will come after you for the word. He said to him, But rise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness both of the things which you have seen and of the things which I yet to reveal to you. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles to whom now I send you, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. That they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Oh boy. You got loved ones. You got friends. You got family members that aren't born again. Romans 10, 1, my brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. God wants everybody saved. Amen. He wants everybody saved. He wants everybody saved. He wants everybody saved. He wants everybody saved. That's why he's, he's, he's trying to hold off and hold out as long as he can so that people can get saved. Mm. He wants as many people to get in the boat as possible. Mm. Goodness gracious. Oh, Lord. He wants people to get born again. The family member that's on drugs, we Mm. call them that broken off that spirit of pharmacia and the drugs and the alcohol. We break that spirit in the name of Jesus that's binding them up. We break it. We loose them from that spirit of drugs right now. They will no longer be bound by drugs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The family members that are locked up in prison. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Send them the gospel and they will respond 
and the internal prison will be broken. And they will have favor with man. Yes. Thank in the Jesus. name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Kiri Androko. The sick family members that, boy, they are, something happened to them and they got sickness and they still don't believe. We break that unbelief off them. And they will get born again and they will get healed and delivered of their affliction. The spirit of intimidation is yes. broken off your people. Yes. They will no longer be afraid yes. Yes. to share the gospel. Yes. For I am not ashamed yes. Of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power unto salvation. We declare that over them. Romans. That's Romans yes. 1. Yes. 16. For I am not ashamed. Of the gospel of Christ. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. For it is the salvation. It's the power. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. That's what we declare. We declare that in Jesus' name. The family members that have gone to false idols. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The family members that are now worshiping false yes. idols, they're worshiping astrology, yes. they're worship, worshiping other gods, they're worshiping other religions. They have turned to other religions. They were grow, they grew up in the church. They grew up, they grew up in the gospel, but now they have turned. Uh, we break that spirit of darkness off their mind in the name of Jesus. That wicked spirit of false religion, false gods in Jesus' name. The backslidden Christian family member, that 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 friend, that co-worker, the backslidden, the one that's had one leg in the church and one leg in the, in the world and they've been teetering and and now they're going all out into the world and they are religious. We break that spirit in Jesus' name. We break that spirit in Jesus' name. We break that spirit in Jesus' name. Let the fear and reverence of God come upon them. Seize them by the Holy Ghost. Yes, Yes, yes. First Timothy, and this is chapter two. Therefore, I exhort first all that supplications, prayers, and intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. So we got to be praying for folks, for kings, and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God. We pray for all government officials. Yes. From the president on down to cabinet members and house of representatives and senators, judges. All of the governors the state representatives, all government officials and mayors and county officials. Father, we call them in the kingdom. No more unjust laws because these people have to get born again. We call them in the kingdom. We call them in the kingdom. We call them in the kingdom in Jesus' name. Who desire all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. That's what God desires. All men to be saved. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men. 
the man Christ, Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, for which I was appointed a preacher and apostle, I am speaking the truth of Christ and not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles of faith. We declare that every person from the sound of the, this, as the sound of our voice is going out, that a spirit of righteous indignation and boldness would come upon them and they would be advocates yes. for the kingdom, yes. advocates for the gospel of Jesus yes. Christ, advocates for the love of God, Lord God, ambassadors of yes. the kingdom, ambassadors in the name of Jesus. That we would no longer be fearful and intimidated by friends and family members and co-workers. Lord God, we would no longer be intimidated and fearful. Because what can man do to us? Yes, 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 yes. You know, when people share the gospel... That's the sign of true revival. Yes, when you is. have Christians sharing the gospel, yes, when people is. share the gospel, when people share the gospel, yes, that's the sign Thank of you, true Jesus. revival. You, when you got people coming to the Lord, coming to the Lord, coming to the Lord. Yes, sir. That's true revival. Because re revival is not holding services no. and having songs saying revival is people coming to repentance. They're saying, Let's, this is what revival is. Revival is, you know what, Pastor? I have been coming to church, but I've been living a double life. I'm repenting of that, and I'm getting all into Jesus, and I'm going to go out and win people to Jesus. That's revival. That's yeah. revival. The revival is, Pastor, I brought my friend in. They've been serving the devil, and now they want to get saved. Yes. Revival is when the church is flooded with people that have been serving the devil. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me say this. I'm telling you prophetically, you're going to see more celebrities coming into the yes. kingdom. More celebrities. Yes. And they're going to reject religion. Yes. They're going to reject religion yes. and they're going to go after the kingdom. After they're going to go kingdom. after the king. They're going to mm. all be all about the king. It's the king. The king. The king. I'm reminded about this celebrity and his album said, Jesus is king. Yes. That's what it's going to be about. King. King, he's king. the king. king he's Jesus. the king of kings. Yep. It's not going to be about the pomp. It's, and no, and no, it's not going to be about the church about, and nope. the four walls. It's going to be about Jesus is the king. Jesus is the king. It's not going to be about the churchianity and mm. the height and the pomp and circumstance and the who's who. It's going to be about the kingdom of God. The kingdom. Imposing the culture of the kingdom of heaven on yes. this earth. Yes, 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 yes. And you know what's going to do? It's going to even make more religious people more uncomfortable. 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 That Didn't Jesus do that? He made the religious crowd uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Hey, you got to come through our religious way. You can't, come, you can't just come and just act like you want to now serve Christ. You got to come through this religious way. The spirit of religion does not like what is unfamiliar to them. Mm -hmm. And it does not like when you do not come up through their ranks. Yes. And so the kingdom, in the kingdom of God, everybody comes in the same way. Yeah. Through the blood through of the Jesus. Blood. Through the blood of Jesus. And you can't add nothing to it. You can't add anything to it. Through the blood of Jesus and working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And 2 Peter 3, 9, I was talking about how God wants everybody to repent. He says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying for our loved ones, every person, Lord God. We call their names out. 
every person, just wherever you are, call their names out, call their names out, call their names out, call, well, you put it in the atmosphere, you put it in the atmosphere, put it in the atmosphere, put their name in the atmosphere so that angels can go on behalf of the word of God and the word of faith and, and work on these people so the Holy Ghost can bring conviction to them so that you could put, call their name out. That's what I'm hearing by the Holy Ghost. Call their name out so that they can repent. Some of y'all got religious people. They they were serving God with fervency, but now they just, they, they are so prideful and religious and they're not even right with God. But they can they can preach you under the table. But they don't they don't they don't serve God. They're not about his business. They're not about their purpose and destiny. They're not about serving in the church and building their faith. They're not about doing any of that. They're not about really obeying God. But they go, listen, I'm telling you, there's a spirit yeah. where people are resting on their laurels. Of what they have done in the past. Some of y'all got family members. Oh, I used to do this and I used to do that. And I'm better than you. I used to do. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Jesus don't care what you did in the past. No, that's a form of godliness. He cares about what you're doing right now. Matthew 7. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, is going into the kingdom of heaven. And they're going to say, well, didn't we used to do this and we used to do that? He said, I never knew you. You who work in iniquity, you practice iniquity. He's not caring what you did years ago. He's caring where you are with him right now. Adam and Eve couldn't go to God and say, well, God, you know, we, we used to do, you know, we, you know, we used to hang out. No, no, no. He said, where are you right now? That's good. That's mm, good. That's a word right now. That's a prophetic yes, word. It yes, it is. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Peter can be looking at Jesus and say, oh, man. You know, you know, I was there. I was there when we did this and we was doing this and we was doing this. No, 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 no. Remember, Peter, you denied me right then and there. That's why he asked Peter three times, do you love me? He says, yes, Lord, I love you. Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? I, you know, I was serving God. In high school, I had Bible studies and prayer meetings in high school, winning people to Jesus. But if I was not serving God right now, that, that would, would not, not help me. It would not help. It would not help me. I can't use that as stackable clout. That's right. Just like his mercies are new every day. My commitment and love needs to be new to him every day. Oh, ho, ho. glory to God. Yes. His mercy yes. is brand new to me every day. My love and commitment to him needs to be brand new every day. Every day. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Every day. Jesus, Jesus. Janet Jackson, remember she said, what have you done for me? Lately. Lately. <laughs> you can't even do that in the world. You can't even do that in the world. You can't even do that in the world. You can't. Listen, listen. I came from sales and boy, I tell you the truth. There's people that, man, you can't say, well, I did. I did a lot of sales two years ago. Well, what did you do this? What, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? See? It's called old wine skin. You can't even do that in a marriage. Yeah. You do do that in a marriage relationship. Yes. Well, I bought you some stuff five years ago. 
I told you I loved you 10 years ago. I No, 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 no. What? Your love needs to be demonstrated today. Today. Because his mercy is new to me. And glory to God. Thank you for your mercies. Your love and your mercy is brand new to me. Father, let our hearts be committed to your love every day. Every day. Glory to God. We pray for the loss. We're praying for the loss. We're praying that your loved ones come in the kingdom. And, oh, I just feel that strong that there is a lot of people you know connected to that once served God, but they have, they have, they have gone into a religious bubble and they are resting on what they did 5, 10, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And God is saying that is not going to cut it. Oh. That is not going to cut it. No. God is saying that is not going to cut it. Because he said, I never knew you. That's Matthew 7, 21. New is like Adam knew Eve. Yeah. You're not intimate, intimate with me right now. Yeah. We got to be intimate with him daily. I want you to know me every day. I, I don't want you to be like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I used to know. You ever, let me ask you this question. You ever know somebody and y'all was good friends and then something happened and maybe y'all just stopped talking, whatever. And then you see them 20 years ago, uh, 20 years later, and you don't know that person. Hmm. That person has changed. Change. And they don't know you. No. Glory to God. We cannot rest on our experiences in the past. We need to know God daily. And we need to make sure he knows us daily. Daily. Being intimately acquainted with the Lord. Yes. You know, waking up in the morning and intentionally making sure that you are aware mm. of the presence of God and mm. the love of God and setting your mind mm. intentionally on him. Yes. What does the word say? It's keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Yes. Yes. I yes. know that's been a cliche. Yes. And there's been songs, but that is how our life is supposed to be. Glory it's to God. Intention when you get up in the morning because the word says that his grace and mercy is brand new every morning. Every morning. Every morning. And even they even discovered that every morning we have brand new cells. Brain cells. Brain cells to help with our memory Glory and help with our God. function. And that is a demonstration of God's mercies being brand new. Mm. And so we have to choose. Do we want to keep our minds stayed and focus on Jesus? <laughs> or we're going to allow the enemy to bombard us at that moment with Glory dysfunction yes. and with fear and with strife and with low self-esteem and insecurity. Are we going to open up our mouth and say, good morning, Heavenly Father. Yes. Today is the day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today this is, the is the day. Today is the day of, of salvation. salvation. Today is a, I know yesterday was the day of salvation, but today, today is a brand today new day. Today is the day, and oh. I'm going to command and declare over my day and take authority over my day and take authority over my my mind, my Glory will, to and my God. emotions. Yes. I'm going to have the mind of Christ. I'm going to walk in the love of God, and, and God has not given me the spirit of fear so i'm not going to be intimidated by mm. the enemy and by people and by the world but i am going to walk in the confidence and boldness because you are with me glory to god um bless you bless you bless you yes, um like and share this like and share this send this out glory to god so that people can be ministered to you were ministered to, like and share this so people can be ministered to and they can receive this word and they can come into agreement with praying for their family members, their friends, their people, their circle so that they can get born again. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's coming soon. Praise God. We bless you. Listen, we're going to uh, have a wonderful service this Sunday. We invite you to Empowering Word Christian Center here in Rockford, Illinois, 4010 East State Street here in Rockford, Illinois. 
Our Sunday service begins at 11 a.m. I'm going further into a series called 2020 Vision and Faith. And it's powerful. We also are live. We live stream our services Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We live stream our services on YouTube. And you can go back and watch the replays on YouTube. This will be uploaded on YouTube as well. And so you can tell people about it. Bring somebody to church. Get somebody born again. Make that a commitment in your heart that you're going to get somebody born again. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.